Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the best condenser microphones that you can get for your home studio setup at under $100. So before we get today's video started, there are quite a few things that we have to go through first. Starting off with the fact that all these microphones are condenser microphones, which means you do need 48 volts of phantom power to get them to work properly. And to get the 48 volts of phantom power, you will need an audio interface and if you don't have one and you're on a budget I have made a video of the top five best hundred dollar audio interfaces that you can get and I'll leave a link down below secondly all the links of all these microphones will be down in the description as well and make sure that you stick around all the way till the end so that you don't miss any of the comparisons that I'll be doing with these microphones whether it's voiceover and even singing but other than that let's get into the video so to get this video started, the first condenser microphone that we're going to have a look at that's great for your home studio setup at under $100 is the MXL770 condenser microphone, which retails for around $80 and at this price point, it actually comes with some really cool accessories, which includes a nice plastic carry-on case and a steel shock mount. Other than that, this is what the microphone looks like when it's set up and also kind of what it sounds like. It has a cardioid polar pattern, which means you want to be right up in front of the microphone to get the best out of it because it picks up sound right in the front of the microphone. And in terms of frequency response, it ranges from 30 hertz all the way up to 30 kilohertz, but it has a slight increase on the high end. So to get a warmer sound out of a microphone at $80, the best thing to do is really go a little bit closer because that's the only way you're really going to increase the, the low end and balance out the low and the highs. But other than that, this microphone is really, really cool, really nice for $80, has some features that other microphones don't have, which includes a minus 10 dB attenuation switch and a roll off switch just to get any rumbliness out of your vocal straight away through the microphone. So that's really, really cool. And I think for $80, a really, really good microphone. The next condenser microphone that we're going to have a look at that's great for under $100 is the Samson CO1, which retails for around $80 as well and also comes with quite a few accessories, which includes a nice plastic carry-on case and a plastic tie bracket steel mount. Other than that, this is what the microphone looks like when it's set up and ready to go and also kind of what it sounds like. It has this really nice blue light in the front which indicates that the microphone is set up and ready to go and it's also picking up phantom power Clearly, so everything is working when this blue light is on. Other than that, in terms of polar pattern, it has a hyper cardway type polar pattern, which means it picks up most of its sound on the front, but it also picks up sound on the back. And when looking at frequency response, it ranges from 20 hertz all the way up to 18 kilohertz. And it has a really nice frequency response when you're in the front of the microphone. But as soon as you record from behind, it has a very big increase on the high end, as you can see with the frequency response shown below. But other than that, this microphone is really, really clear and really, really good for a budget home studio setup especially at $80. The final condenser microphone that we're going to have a look at that's great for under $100 is the Audio-Technica AT2020. And this microphone retails for around $99 and unfortunately at this price point it doesn't really come with any additional accessories like the other microphones do. You just get your standard steel bracket to connect it to a microphone stand but other than that you're paying for the microphone. And speaking of the microphone, this is what it looks like when it's set up and this is also kind of what it sounds like. It has a a card weight polar pattern which means it picks up sound mostly from the front of the microphone and to get the best out of this microphone you want to be right up close just to get a warmer sound because like I said with microphones at under a hundred dollars they do sound quite high end and tinny and in terms of frequency response this microphone is very flat ranging from 20 hertz all the way up to 20 kilohertz and overall this is probably the most popular microphone to purchase at under a hundred dollars because it gives you the best results and at the end of the day you're not paying for the carry-on case you're not paying for the shock mount you are paying for the quality of the microphone and in terms of quality audio technica has always done the best job so this is what it sounds like when i talk through the mxl 770 condenser microphone this is what it sounds like when i talk through the samson c01 condenser microphone this is what it sounds like when i talk through the audio technica 80 2020 condenser microphone Is a revolver flying bullets in the sky? Mm -hmm. 
Your love is like a soldier, Lord, till you die. And I've been looking at the stars for a long, long time. I've been putting out fires all my life. Everybody wants a flame, they don't want to get burned. Well, today's our turn. Days like this lead to nights like this lead to love like ours. You light the spark in our Starts, starts the spark in our bonfire hearts. So that brings this video to an end of the best condenser microphones that you can get for under $100, especially for a budget home studio setup. And just a reminder, all the links of these microphones are down below and also the link of my merchandise limits. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe down below. And I will see you for another video next time.